Oh no, why am I always down TV? <laughs> Fucking mm-hmm. hell. Hello everybody, welcome to game 21 of Tentalica against Dodger's Draws. Does that mean he's going to try and draw? He's got 12 players. I do have a claw palm at least. He's got a decent record. He's got loads of guard, loads of dodge. He's called his name Dodger's Draws, right? He's called his name Dodger's Draws. And how many dodge does he have? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dodge on a dwarf team. How bad is it that I didn't make that extra two points? Fuck. Right, I absolutely buy um buy Borak for this. Holy shit, if only I'd got that extra two points for Mash Faggles yeah. to get the tackle for this game. Be a dream. Holy shit. Right. I'm off. Turn the thing off. I'll leave you with Fash. Um oh, enjoy man. the match. Nah, this will be a pain indeed. Nothing more tedious than Blodge Dwarves. Single guard for Jim. Couple of four strength options. I don't know if Borax what you really want. Is a big five strength guard going to do too much? Other than get tied up on a single long beard? A Merc with Tackle would be amazing. Any star player with Tackle would be amazing. I would go, I'd go full on juice once here. Yeah. I would spend every single cent. I'd be getting a babe as well. <laughs> uh, for Shawnee, Complex, got my back. Yeah, so look, Jim can hit non dodge people with Claw Palm and look for damage. And with only the one man bench. I still shit because they're dwarves. Dirty, dirty dwarves. Uh, it's less about dodging the dodge dwarves and more about not going down on stumbles. Down on a boat. Not going down on a foot. Not going down on a skull. Strictly. Pow. Whichever I know is on a two dice block is a 33% chance to happen. Oh man, is that a four strength lodge L? Oh man. Is that Pom Blitzer? Jim's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Not as much guard as you'd expect from a dwarf team at this TV. It looks like Chol Slays are both fresh. Oh man, he's not starting off the field. He's not leaving a blodge guard. Yeah, the runners are good. A good target for sure. Any troll slayer, also. Uh, it was twenty four nine two or something, or twenty four two nine. It, it wasn't flawless or anything, but it wasn't your average call. Oh man, it's times like this you absolutely want a frenzy. Jim will sweat up, uh, set up for the quick snap and to punish a. Uh... This aggressive LOS. Gotta watch out for the Blitz, because uh, the Troll Slayers can frenzy him back. So maybe not having the Rotter on the right hand side on the sideline good. It's fixed it. What good play. It's still set up for the quick snap. But yeah, no, for situations like this, I absolutely rate Frenzy. My number one pro tip for winning games in Cole is have a Frenzy guy. Like, maybe this guy wouldn't have set up 
on the sideline if Jim had a frenzy. But I rate it so much. Not only in the surfing, but also in... Uh, in being able to create space that people don't suspect. Like a cheeky chain push that uh, breaks an off strength, that sort of stuff. Wow, hitting, uh, hitting blog. I guess he was never piling on, but I would have definitely. Well, I, I, if I don't have any tackle, and I'm against a team with a lot of dodge, I avoid the pommers. Uh, rephrase: I avoid the dodges and just look to get successful blocks with claw mighty blow. As having them on the ground and being able to roll those armor dice. What is way more important to me than getting down some skilled guy? Free dice at every opportunity. Hundred percent seeing I see a rod of foul. Uh, I had a dwarf team once in the old uh, Fash League that had a bunch of lodged sand firm guard. It was rage inducing for many. KO off the bat makes the offensive driver look a little bit safer. Oh, is there is there complaining in chat? Oh man, I've just had on the stream. I missed it. What did they say? Because I'm watching this in the game client, seeing what the guy's clicking. But I briefly saw him click on the first action double GFI. Oh. Hmm. Ah, oh, that makes the Jimmy is the devil. Makes sense. Yeah, look at this leader pro runner. What would he possibly use pro for? Because he's making dodgy, he's dodging out. Picking up the ball with short hands. Is it for passing? Surely you just get past them. Maybe it's for GFIs or something dumb. Who knows? So the biggest threats are definitely the Pommel Blitzer. AVA Beastmen and Rotters, quite vulnerable. But at the same time, any non blodge longbeard you can take is pretty good. 1 in 27 risk on a Lona as a first action from Jim. I know Lou likes it on his killer. It's for greed. I really don't. Ah, got him. And if he just seems to be screening, surely it's the dirty player foul. Um, Somewhere. Dead little dwarf. I certainly would. Even without a bribe. As if the claw palmer is gone, then 
Jim's team becomes shit. So uh, Jim's correct in heavily screening any sort of blocking on the Palmer. Two assist, dirty player. Come on, baby. Always oh, doing a run up. Extra damage. And they are stunned. Are you being negative, Shawnee? Enough of your negativity, mate. I'm gonna ban you. I tapped that for one second, and... It looks like the Dwarf just ended his turn. Did he not even blitz? Looks like he, he didn't do anything. Didn't even blitz. Absolute madman. Oh boy. Yeah, so I don't I don't like this hitting the lodges. Mid leaves roll pushes in both downs every but Working towards removing Dwarf is the is the way I would look to have my offense succeed. Got one so far with the the foul. Oh, you're onto me. Oh, heavy. Oh man, the run off. Just a stun. Oh, Dwarf using his turn this time. Unbelievable. Time's a ticking. The the old dwarf screen is shoot up three turns. Uh, one from three on the fouls. Oh my god! One time, come on! You know, with the heavy screen, wouldn't even mind a feigned Pestagore on the right side. And maybe unskilled Ducky could look to rotate round. If he can pull every dwarf to the side of the field for movement for long beards and then barely out of position. And even if it becomes irrigated, even if the scoring play is the uh, best for Gore moving seven to a hand, uh, to duck for Gore. Who moves uh, six? Uh, Thirteen square game. Really, all he needs. Uh, if he's at the halfway point. And so I do like this idea of rotating. Third stun, but fortunately not sent off.
Good work, uh, Dr. Marmol Bosco. Yeah, maybe this guy's right. Maybe he uh, used up all his sixes. Three wins in a row. Pretty good so far. One Dyson. <sighs> Never any doubt, was there? First action one and nine. Oh boy. So there does seem to be a bit of space on the right, but the runners are fast. The runners can cover it. Uh, fortunately, now though, the blitz are tied up. And Borak can do a reasonable job on some long goods. Yeah, good bit of rotation. But DP gone. Ah, oh, Borak, you son of a bitch. Hey, look, one and nine is double skull. Pretty brutal. That's how you lose games. Three turns left, well away from my scoring uh, position. Uh, even on the field due to the one dice death. Prefer is down one on the field due to the one dice death. Yeah, it's always the risk. I guess there is a slight, you know, they're looking at glass half full. Is that there might be some heavy commitment uh, feeling he's got the advantage. And he definitely does. But if he makes heavy commitment and doesn't do it properly, uh, best for just runs away. So it's a double GFI with the Troll Slayer. No GFI with the Blitz. Single GFI with the Troll Slayer allows the Blitz to get a two die on the ball. Now instead it's a Troll Slayer sweeper, so it must be a one die spot coming. Unless the down Blitzer makes a dodge one day. Uh, sorry, dodge GFI to get the one day. Maybe he's not even not even hitting the ball. That'd be absolute insanity. Oh, no, sorry, there's, there's no marking. No dodge. No dodge to be had. Loves his one dies, gets punished. He could have made that a two. The blitzer that ran down to mark uh, if, go, the, if, go, if he stood where the pommel was, and the pommer just makes the pom blitz for two, or two dice on best for goal. No reason to make a one die block when you can make a two die block. And so now the gym's tough decision is does he three plus blitz a troll slayer and run downfield and then use the open rotter to screen out the troll slayer and have the touchdown fairly uncontested? I mean, three plus of the ball is scary as shit. Or is it a blitz on the runner and to run downfield? But then there's no control slide. Single GFI for mash for goals to tag the downfield troll slayer. Uh, it would allow best for goals to block for a push and then outmaneuver the... Oh, it wouldn't attack the zones of type. Oh, it would now. 
fair with one and nine. Not risking it, so it's good. Alright, no pressure, but match for goal. Needs to tag that troll slayer. And he's done a good job at denying that. Oh, there's no doubt about it. You make one GFI. Oh, you can't! <clears throat> oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. Opponent GFIs and one dies for days. You have the temerity to make a two dice block. And you, uh... <laughs> you want a nine into double skull. Fuck off. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck off, you Cold cut us right now. Jesus fucking Christ. Worst part is he dodge running can then recover as well. Oh, we pull from this guy and tag in the down uh, Pestigal. Definitely don't want that reacting. Even though you might be hesitant to give, uh, you know, such an easy call on Blitz on an edgy 4 runner. In this instance, it's worth it, as it'll likely stop Jim's drive. If he doesn't break armor, Jim's still in for a shot. Oh, baby. Mondays before picking up the ball. Unbelievable. Unpunished. So his unmoved runner has the dodge with the free dodge reroll into the pickup with the free pickup reroll. And instead he's making one dice that don't even matter. On rotters that don't even matter. Might be a chain here to push. No. Well, look if the guard noble warrior one d's the blodger for a push. No, it would have to be a pal. Damn. And even then, the 2D on the ball needs to be the pal. This is good. Uh, avoid the chain completely and with this push will allow a two die on the no it won't oh boy What do you mean the background commentator? I'm the foreground commentator, mate. I'm the most important one. <gasps> wow, big play. It is turn seven, it's the time for big plays. Oh boy. A three into a two on the armor with pom. 
no pressure best for Gorm, but he needs to. <laughs> uh, he needs to make a move towards this. Shizer. Something about dwarves that's just so rage inducing, especially when they do low percentage stuff in poor order. Like, you know, he's going to go and 1D surf the uh, rotter. Probably early on in this turn for no reason. Does have two turns. Don't think he has the movement there. Unless the Blitzer dodges out midfield. Seems a pass from the. the runner. Oh man, an offensive drive bolt will be disgusting. <laughs> For which team, Ducky? Your Dark Elf? If it's your Dark Elf, absolutely. I don't know if it's a Rage Pylon. I think when you look at it and you say, right, my offensive will be over. Uh, if I can remove a Dwarf, that'd be pretty nice. With GFI, no problem. Uh, Dwarfy here should really dodge his last. Uh, to have the second scoring threat if he doesn't Jim can bolt one blitzer and that'll be all he needs oh he could have even changed his blitzer out to not have to dodge instead making some questionably relevant blocks I would 100% have had that second look. Stop fucking fighting everything! Ah! The dual score threat would have ensured the touchdown. And then Dwarves would just have to hold the ball in their, in their offensive. Oh wow. Made the dodge anyway. Absolute madman. This is why I don't play Blood Bomb. This is why this format's so shit. I'd 100% be the receiver, Kerbal. Because if you bolt the ball carrier, any other dwarf can run along the blitz. Whereas if you bolt the blitzer, no one else can score. Absolutely. No, nah, look, all the dwarf needs to do is do something stupid. A one die out of order, something to that effect. Or actually get removed on Clopon blocks. And uh, Jim can turn him over. Second half. It's not. And we're too concerned with. I mean, yes, every phrase is very concerning, but not the end of the world. Think of it as sea levels are rising, temperatures increasing, bees are dying, animals are dying. Uh, life's only sustainable in the pole tips of the planet. Not the end of the world, but we're getting getting pretty close. If only you had a trustworthy mod like Kurgle or Grindle. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, baby. So I think of the, what, seven Clopon Blitzes, one's been a pal for a two and a one on the armor rolls. I mean, admittedly, it's a low percentage to, to get down a Blodger, but to not even... <laughs> oh, fuck. No region fail. Turn eight region fail uh, with the wind I has. Pretty rude. And look, you can still one and nine the handle. Oh man, actually abandoned. Oh Kurgle. VRP the Kurgle. Oh, made it to the father. No, oh, feels bad, man. Okay, didn't wake up. Dwarf K woke up. Yeah, absolutely. It's games like this that, that make me really sad, too. Like, down TV in Bash is shitty as it is, to then also be unlucky really hurts. I mean, the, the fouls are influential. You're not really uh, disappointed when you foul for a stun and don't get sent off. Uh, sent off. But every core hit failing, and yeah, the one D Kaz was brutal into the dwar uh, into the the one thirty six on the GFI after the one in nine into the double skull on Borak. Like those compounding turnovers were absolutely catastrophic. Then the wizard was like the, oh, we need to make a, a serious uh, uh, consumption of resources here to make up for those uh, skulls and snake GFIs and pushes on blitzes. And then that fails too. Brutal shit. Yeah, Clock Bomb knocked over one guy. Admittedly, Blodge was hit almost every time. I think there was a Blitz that got hit at one point. Um, yeah, and the, the pylon was a 2 on a 1 into a 1 on a 1. Extra will be nice for doing extra risky shit to try and turn it, <laughs> turn it around. Uh, fortunately, though, by having um, yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. Saying, unfortunately, having a deep bend and be man down. Oh my god, I'm done. Hello, darkness, my old friend.
Right, I won't play Blood Bowl for the rest of the year. Oh, wait a minute. I don't that anymore. I've come to talk to you again. Because a vision softly creeping. Left its seed while I sleep in. He did take the bait, but it looks. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains. Oh no. <gasps> Thank God. Holy shit. Within the sound of silence. I said In GG, but it wasn't I walk GG, alone. it was BG. Fuck, mate. I'm done. I'm so done. Why do I tilt so hard? Fuck off, the master. Yeah, oh, mate, I'm, I'm so, I'm so much worse than you right now. Seriously. Would you like to sing the Sound of Silence with me? I can't sing, mate. Neither can I. Yeah, no, it's fucked. It's absolutely fucked. Could you not get any banged on harder? Like, was what, absolutely, what more there was, a, there was no tilt there at all, was there? I, did the right, I had to no. block him to clear the Made the right play every single time, absolutely. That was just a perfect turn, there was no tilting, and it was just a fucking two cars, three cars from him, from about five blocks, and I fucking can't even roll a two plus to get, maybe pick up the ball. Unbelievable. It's not the first time you've held a 2 plus to do something useful that you absolutely need to do. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, to be fair, losing the ball on my drive was my fault. I should have moved the pest to go first to cover. So, you know, that, although I was unlucky at the 1 in 36 with Borak, I should have just moved that the pest to go to seal it off first. And then, and obviously it didn't end up that bad because he just got the push. Um, but, yeah, fucking hell, pretty bad. I think I'm being pretty unlucky overall, as well as being 400 odd TV down. No, oh, there's no doubt about it. But I mean, like, even even the turn directly after the Borak fell, uh, the GFI to my control sale. Yeah, I think that would have been. Yeah, that was the key one, wasn't it? Good. That was absolutely yeah. key. And then yeah, the wizard failing. Yeah, yeah, the wizard and then every, every every claw bomb hit being a push. Yeah, except for the one that you got on the Agi guy that was a three into a two. Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. I uh, I, I've given up on the second half and have uh, just been watching him talk shit in chat. It's outrageous. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm giving up on this half. I think. I mean, I'm. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I could maybe mark him or whatever, but it's not worth getting my players killed now, is it? And the team isn't necessarily dead, um, because I could just win more than more than um, the guy, whatever he's called. Um, what you know, the guy, Wine Lord Bashers guy, whatever he's called. Um, He's got a guy around the back. 
Hasn't got mighty blow though. No, the thing is though, I blitzed the dodger on turn. The reason I blitzed the bludger on turn one was so that he w there was a. It was to get the three dice on the LOS. If I hadn't done that, I couldn't have got three dice on the LOS. So I um, I had to blitz that guy. I could have blitzed the fucking skillless blitzer. Sure, would have given me a bit of more of a chance of a removal. But by blitzing that dodger, not only was he a more valuable player if I randomly got the knockdown, um, also. It, it set up the three dices down the line, which which ended up getting a KO or something, didn't it? And setting up a foul, so it wasn't so bad. I think it was okay. That was that was the reason behind blitzing the bludger, even though he wasn't a great bludger. I wanted to blitz the strength four bludger so that at least if I got the cars, um, you know, it would have been unbelievable. But um, if I'd done that, I would have needed a guy to assist, which then would have made the three dice blocks down the line harder. Yeah, I needed I needed that guy out of position to get the three dice. Yeah. Yeah, Don Chump. Don Chump is on. Um, Don Chump is on twenty six six two, and I'm on thirty six six thirteen six two now. So I'm gonna have to win fourteen games in a row to qualify. Then he could just win one anyway. So. I could still try to win 14 in a row. Is it New Year's for you, by the way, Fashbinder? Um, no, that's next year. <laughs> is it 2017 for you? Yeah, it's just under a year away. It is New Year's, though. <laughs> oh, well, Happy New Year's. Fashbinder. Happy New Year's, Jim. Thanks. Of course he just went out to get the 2D somehow. The world does not end. It's running in advance. Okay, oh, safe. He's 24-6-2, is he? Thank you, Shattered Dice. Yeah, 24-6-2. So I'm 13-6-2. So I would need to win 12 in a row. <laughs> Alright, Jim. I'm going to have a shower. And, uh, I don't know, then just watch the rest of your stream in silence. <laughs> Before I go, I have one parting gift. Okay. You ready? Okay. Thank Should you. old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and old lang syne? <laughs> Thank you very much, Fast Fast on New Year's. That was pretty amazing. I wish I had a voice like as good it. as yours. No, oh, thank you, sir. No, no, it's actually a shower. It's pretty hot. And uh, I've been showered since this morning. Oh, he's going to beat me 3 0. What a cunt. <laughs> what a piss taker. <laughs> well, look, if you get to a opposite dwarf, you might as well. Yeah, of course. It's absolutely. Nah, I don't want to concede. Not against this guy. <laughs> no, taking Jan the first. <laughs> people are banging on you for some reason, Fashbinder. I don't uh, know. They, that's what they do. That's what they're doing, trying to shout you down on people. Yeah. I'll start banging on you the minute I get back. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, catch you. Oh, man. Showering spider venom. <laughs> Yeah, see, I've got five there, so I needed to blitz this guy to um, get the five, six, seven there, and then that would maybe get other, you know, other things happening. At least, at least I've just got to keep best if I go safe, haven't I? That's the, that's the only thing left to do in this game, is to keep. Um, right, I've got to go to the other side this time because his palm is there. The dwarves. <laughs> yeah. Nah, no pitch invasion. At least I didn't get fucked by that. Even though I've got the higher, t the higher fucking um, 
fan factor probably. I just hate getting fucked on by it. If I would him, if that had been the claw guy on the first half, I right, still wouldn't have broken him. Why didn't this happen first half, eh? Well, it kind of did. I thought the blocks on the LOS were alright. They were probably the only thing that went okay in the entire half. I think I'm going to do it without blocks so that this guy can come over and protect the ball a bit. I didn't realise he was the strength guy. Whoopsie. Mashvago. Mashvago is thankfully KO'd, so he's safe. And to be fair, I don't think Tackle would have even helped me. It was just I just rolled pushes and both downs constantly. I like the way he calls his team dodges draws as well, and then just fucking rolls a million dodge. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Sorry, Shawnee. <sighs> He's letting me potato, isn't he, currently? No one's failed a foul appearance today, I think. I think there's been one failure of foul appearance in four games. Alright, then that's the fair enough. I, I totally don't tell. Well, I don't know. No, I, I don't tell. Honestly, I really don't. It's just... It's just more entertaining, isn't it, to be like, oh, fuck off, you cocksucker, than just sitting there in emotionless ball ache, like, um, which isn't super exciting, is it? Oh, wow. Unbelievable, Jeff. That's one. So I could um, blitz him and then run away a little bit, couldn't I? Obviously don't want to make a dodge. All the pals this turn. Probably not ducky. Everyone having dodge is pretty annoying, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly, Shawnee, yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> post game ones and skulls it is true though isn't it ones and skulls I'd, I think it's pretty much worthless ones and skulls maybe I should have one dice this guy because the moment he can block him and free him up can't he 
Maybe I should have just one deed him and re rolled it if it wasn't a three plus. Champion Ladder Magic fanboys, it is a real player. <laughs> I wouldn't be losing 2 0 the AI no matter how good the dice were. Ah, yeah, true VIP Kurgo. Yeah, I do like ones and skulls for letting me find the right replay to upload for UKBBL. That's true. That's true, and all CC next season. So, yeah, for that reason, it's kind of good. So, yeah, I probably should have gone for this one dice, shouldn't I? Because if I get the push, he's it, I, it, that is letting him one dice to um, one into two to free this guy up. So, I probably shouldn't have let him have that chance. Eight times out of nine, I would have isolated him. So, yeah, I guess I should have done that. He's just going for the fucking long beard blitz. Good. Nothing for him. Piece of shit. Can score. So easy to score now, but um, doable, isn't it? He can go there. To cancel. Oh, it doesn't cancel the assist because they've got guard. They've all got guard. Um, I'm five. He's three, four, five, six. So he can go there and make it a one dice with a pow. So if, it, if this is a pow, it's pretty good. It's already two dice. Sweet. Got the pow. Lucky git. Making ones and ones and skulls making me look good. GFI, it's worth it, isn't it, to make this a two dice? There you go. It's even. It's even evening out the the GFIs now. Need a push though. Got him. Oh, do I even need a GFI? I don't know. I'll dodge first. I could stall it for a turn, couldn't I? <sighs> you can block him. It's just some GFIs. It's probably too easy. I'll go for it one at a time. There you go. Even out for ones and skulls. Three passes. Oh yeah, I could have blitzed him, blitzed him forward, yeah, that would have been better, wouldn't it, Sean, yeah. Yeah, true story. Yeah, yeah, VIP, Mr. Yamandem, yeah, I should have just changed him, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, now, now the tilting at this point is acceptable, isn't it? I think I've reached the point, the fact that I'm, the fact that I'm talking again, I've reached the point where I don't give a flying fuck anymore. And it is what it is. I'll take a touchdown on best fag all. Can I go for the draw? Two turns, two rerolls with nine, eight men? Not really. Not really. It's been too brutal, hasn't it? All those reserves and six. Five cars in a KO. Fourteen players and <laughs> down to eight. For the end. I, mean, I don't think I, he's got a full eleven. There's no way. I don't think. I'm, I don't think there's any way I can turn him over here and score. I guess having these calls would be better, though, wouldn't it? Just in case. You never know. Blitz plus right. Yeah, blitz would be all right. Can't get a right because it's nice stadium. Yeah. On with pitch invasion. Um, Pitch invasion and right, yes, I can't get one. <laughs> I wish this couldn't have been New Year. 
Oh yeah, sign it's on holiday, yeah, of course. Yeah. Nah, the thing is, I think it's better to not play with a Blitz in mind. Because, um... The thing is, I just want to protect my two players. Oh, there was a Blitz, yeah, of course there was. I don't see how to set up differently, but, you know, I think I set up as much for a blitz as I could, actually. Happy New Year, fun for Cheers. Those would be okay if they had seven less dodge. I mean, but he's got one troll slain over the other side, so it's alright. Should have gone for the gifts. <laughs> GFIs, yeah, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? Uh... Shouldn't I have, um, shouldn't, no, just seven less dodge bizzle, because I'm 300, I'm 400 and, 490 TV down or something, so I'd have just liked him to have seven less dodge and ten less guard, and, and then it would have been a fair match. If he fails his hand off, though, there's a chance, isn't there? I just went all in on, me, on him, one in nine in the hand off. And then if he doesn't fail the handoff, then I can at least um, just run away and protect my players, can't I? And lose 3-1. There's a chance for him to 2D the ball, isn't there? Get the um Get the best Fagor in scoring rain. Oh, he's blitzing him. One dice blitzing with a pommer, what an absolute cunt. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way, no way. Regen's failed. Badly hurt, thank the fuck. I don't give a fuck if he can score a game, Bizzle. I mean, if he won in nines that handoff, that's what I got to play for, haven't I? One in nine in the handoff. It was the only thing I could have done. Good. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if he scores a game. Two one is exactly the same as three one. Hopefully he's dead, no. Shada. Got the S two SPPs though on turn fifteen. So that was alright. Let's go for the dirty player foul. Did regen, did regen once. I did make one regen and failed. Um, one, two, three. Failed three, made one, which isn't that isn't crazy at all, is it? It's just that he's cast um, he's cast rodders mostly.
What is he even talking about? Oh, fuck knows Pedro Jack, he's just a cunt, isn't he? Oh, failed a foul appearance to make it look like it's done something in the match. Um, not full recovery, no Tony plays poorly, but I do have I do have um, drugs that were five times stronger than the first ones that I got. Um, so... <laughs> No, I didn't get I didn't get regen rotters. So these three, I didn't get the chance. They don't have regen rotters. So I've only actually had the chance to regen four times, and I made one out of four regens, which is absolutely acceptable. But um, he did one dice kill my uh, dirty player, which is pretty lucky for him. And then he's you know, okay. So I made I filled I so I made two out of five regens, which is absolutely absolutely fine, isn't it? If he scores here, I get to make more blocks on the LOS, so he probably shouldn't even score. TBH. When you think about it, it's just. No, fair enough, he gets three star player points. But on, does he get a level from it? I don't know. But. Yeah, and he's, he's got loads of mighty blow, and he's. You know, it's. He's got loads of guard out. There was no real. Not really a lot I could do in this matchup, was it? I mean, so much TB down. It was basically. I mean, he obviously was lucky overall, but. Um, it's not unexpected when someone's got this much guard and mighty blow from the fuck you, is it? Yeah, but I'm miss I'm missing I'm blue balls, Mr. Nice cornflakes and mills, that's the thing. Yeah, warrior vanity pass, if only I had an extra arms to catch it. Um he'd be on twelve, so he'd go up to thirteen. He'd be on five, yeah. Oh yeah, it's absolutely a warrior vanity pass turn. GG, nice game. Go good for you. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Yeah, if I'd taken extra arms instead of sure hands, I know he's badly hurt anyway. It's what the pro players do, I hear. Right, that works out pretty well, doesn't it? <laughs> Warrior vanity pass would be amazing. Yeah, you don't think GFY stands for good for you? Why not? Well, that's, surely that's obvious. I'll get a knockdown now. Into a big fat nothing. With him, I guess he can blitz 2D is good enough. Oh, yeah, because I couldn't assist because then that would make the pass longer than it, it needed to be. It would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Getting the uh, getting the completion on him would have been amazing. <sighs> wow. 
random rotter. He only made 12 AV bricks, but made like 6, 7, 8 cars, 9 cars. 9 cars from 12 AV bricks. 7, seven cars and 3 KOs from 12 AV bricks. Um, and I think there was another one as well, wasn't there, that just didn't didn't show up. I actually outblocked him, which is crazy. Unbelievable. What a what a really unlucky game that was without um without being silly. That was that was actually really unlucky, wasn't it? But oh god, agility. Agility on the wrong guy. Agility wouldn't be that bad on him because agility is still good, isn't it? I think I've got to go tackle. I would love to go frenzy though. I would love to go frenzy. Oh, the kill doesn't count as a cast, does it? Oh, man. Try hard not going so well, Combat Bunny, after that fucking game. Got my dirty player killed. And, um, got. Got a loss with no chance to do anything. Um, even though I, I did misplay a little bit. Yeah, it, it does have to be tackle. And then, and then I guess, Ducky Fagor can be the frenzier. Um... I desperately need Frenzy though, I desperately need Frenzy on the team. Frenzy is so good, especially on a Pommer, because then you get more more knockdowns, don't you? But yeah, I think, I think definitely, I definitely, Ducky gets the Frenzy, yeah, if he ever managed to level up, yeah. Block, Mighty Blow, Frenzy as the first three, and then Claw piling on. But I really, I really need some easier games so that I can fucking level up. Ducky Fagos. And the one time I got an easy game, he fuck it, the fucker conceded. Which is um, pretty disappointing, isn't it? These two both are Kaz a touchdown away from levelling. Two touchdowns for Ducky Fago. Record looks shit now, 13-6-2. It was like 9-6-0 as of 1-4 loss 2, which is fucking... No, 9-5-0, wasn't it? So 4-1-2 was awful the last few games. Um, and yeah, I've... The top Nurgle is the famous Don Chump. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he might, yeah, he might be Necro. No, he's top Necro. So Don Chump is actually top Necro. He's not top. So he's not top Nurgle. So actually the top Nurgle, oh, God, is even better, 16-2-1. In terms of, um, in terms of trying to catch him from here. Because he can just play a couple of... He, you know, he gets a win or two. 16-2-1. Um, he could easily go up to something like this. And go ridiculous record. So I'm pretty much fucked. To be honest. It's amazing actually how much better that, that this record is than this, isn't it? I'm sure I could only with 20 less wins. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. So I need to get a lot of wins in a row. It's obviously, it's obviously hard, harder with a team like Nurgle in this kind of environment where you where you're getting big TV gaps, because if it wasn't big TV gaps every time, and you're fair, if you if you bash against bash, and you're down a fair amount of TV, you're pretty much fucked. Whereas at least if you're elves, you've got a wizard and you can outplay them a bit more, can't you? It's hard to straight up outplay somebody when all you're doing is making two dice blocks and them getting and getting two dice blocked it's a bit it wasn't really a wise choice to get a good streak in you know like you need if you probably need but i mean on the other hand nobody can really get a streak in with nurgle unless they're really lucky which is proved by the top nurgle team being 16-2-1 which is still really good to be fair 13-2-0 so I mean he could he could just win about five in a row and get right up to here, couldn't he, somewhere? Oh. Yeah, grinding the first week is probably what I should have done with, with Nurgle, yeah. Um Yeah, but you still get a wizard, don't you, Ducky? That's the thing. You still get a you still get a wizard. Whereas if you've got a bash team and they've got guard spam and a strength four show hands carrier, you're just done, aren't you? And it, uh, and like if you're a bash team and you're playing against a wood elf team that's 500 TV more, you might just smash them to pieces still. And that and then it, so that that the the elf versus elf matchup is harder for the elves, I think, than the bash versus elf. But even then, you might still just get fucking banged on either way. So it's it's hard to say, isn't it? It's hard to say, but I think I think definitely agility teams are better if you're better than your opponent. 
but obviously you're not always better than your opponent and um, they also make up for a TV deficit better don't they because you get like say um, Eldril and a wizard instead of a wizard and nothing like Nurgle just get a wizard and nothing if they're 350 TV down they get a wizard and nothing else like a bribe or something which is pretty garbage um, but whereas you've got like you know you've got Hubris you've got Roxana you've got um, the other guy uh, Wood Elves get the um, get Jordel as well so the Elves have got loads of good star players and um, yeah <sighs> right Lord Bork, yeah, but he's three hundred though, isn't he? He is three hundred. So like, he's just a bad. He's at a bad price price point, isn't he? You, you a lot of the time you're gonna get. You're gonna have to choose between Borak and a wizard, whereas a, an elf team could have um, Eldril and a wizard if they're down the same. An Eldril and a wizard can win any game, can't it? Really. Um. Uh, it is only a little bit Silmarils. Well, depend what depend which time zone you're in, I guess. Um. This is quite a long time for me being until New Year's, but I think I'll try another game because I'll I'm, I'll try playing them all because you never know the other people the people behind me might not might not take take over. Um, they could all lose, couldn't they? So I guess I could just play them. Try to get up to thirty games. Fuck it. Um, anyway, I don't know if I did the outro, but if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.